We made it to, I think, Whitewater Snow Park. We could actually camp here if we want, and there's definitely a few people that are. But we're just gonna use it to stretch our legs. Right, Haley? Uh -huh. As we head back down south, because we got a wedding to go to in a couple days. So let's just have some fun and enjoy the views. So Mount Hood is definitely more beautiful than I thought it would be. It is pretty awesome. Good job, Chocolate Face. Nice job. Good boys. You know my superpower is a speed of hug. Look how gorgeous this is. So gorgeous. What a day. Yeah, we found the water. Very smoky day, but it's a lot better than it was over in the, the uh, city of Mount Hood, town of Mount Hood, where we were this morning. It was very smoky when we just left right now. So this is actually really nice to be up here, but we're gonna be heading further south. And I think I found a boondocking spot that's not far from Smith Rock, where we were two days ago, no, four days ago. I've lost track. Either way, we're making our way back south. Hopefully hit Crater Lake National Park before wedding, Mendocino, California. Here we come. Take two. So we went down to Bend, Oregon. Found a great boondocking spot. And I got the whole camp set up. Everything was looking great. And then out of the blue, all these bees started swarming around us. They weren't attacking us, but we're a lot of bees. This isn't just like five or ten. It was a lot of bees. Um, and it became clear that I wasn't going to be able to make dinner. And besides the fact, it, it just felt like at any point in time, the girls were going to get stopped. And while they're not allergic to bees, that many bees is a problem for anybody because once one stings you don't want all of them so made the decision we're getting out of here we're finding another spot and i started putting everything back in the van as fast as possible right i've never put the eye camper down as fast as i did that night all right so as i'm doing that the dogs are being dogs the girls are hiding in the van and you look over and Max has found something in the woods and he's just eating it. So I yell at him to stop it. He walks back over and I don't think too, tw I don't think twice about it. And so we'll come back to that. So we get everything packed up and we get back on the road and I found a couple other boondocking spots in that area. But again, like I get out and there's just bees. I'm like, okay. So we left that area, drove to another area, and everything's taken. This is when I'm starting to realize that this is Saturday on Labor Day weekend. Like, what was I thinking? Right? Terrible. <laughs> All right. So I'm like, okay, girls, let's see if there's a hotel or a motel. Let's treat ourselves. Everyone's dirty from all the moon dust of... If you guys don't know what moon dust, you, my East Coast friends are probably like, what the heck is e moon dust? But look it up. Okay. Just dirty everywhere. Everything's dirty. I'm going to take a bath, get cleaned up. It'd be super nice. And so I start looking and everything is booked. Every motel is booked. I've never, ever 
had that issue. The only thing left is like something for like $400 a night plus like a $100 fee for the dogs or whatever. Heck no. We're not spending that kind of money on a hotel night for one night. You're out of your mind. Right? And so I'm like, okay. We'll just go find a different boondocking spot. So we start heading down the road. And it's getting later and later. And... Um... The spot that we found next was taken. The next spot we went to was burned down from one of the recent fires. It was really, really sad. It was starting to get dark at this point, so it was kind of hard to see, but it's still clear, the destruction and how sad it was. Um, so at this point, we're like, okay, let's just get to Eugene. I see that there's hotels in Eugene, and I'm kind of looking at it, and... The more that I look, it's just not dog-friendly rooms that are left. So even though it says pet-friendly and it's available, the available rooms are not dog-friendly. Okay. At this point, Haley ends up puking in her sleep. She normally doesn't get car sick, but when she's sleeping and we go through a mountain road, sometimes it happens and she just puked over everything, right? So this is when I'm like, oh gosh. Immediately following this, Max just starts howling. And he just won't stop. I, I, I can't even imagine. I, I, at first I thought he was just complaining because he was tired because Max gets cranky when he's tired. He does not like to go past his bedtime. Worse than, than the two girls or myself. Like, Max must go to bed and he whines if he can. But he was howling. And at that point, I started to notice that that something wasn't right. His eyes had this glazed look. Um, yeah, something was wrong. So we stop, continue searching for a hotel. Finally, I found one because the campsites are taken. Boondocking spots at that point. We're not in the area where there's a lot of boondocking spots, which is fine. So we find a motel randomly about 30 miles north of Eugene, Oregon, and booked it online, and we just beeline it to that motel. Get everyone in. The girls were able to take a bath. Oh, everyone was able to get cleaned up. But when I got everyone in the motel, I realized just how bad Max was. Max, at that point in time, couldn't stand. He could barely keep his head up like it would just slowly tip over he wouldn't drink any water wouldn't eat and his skin yeah he was very dehydrated so I'm really concerned at this point so I ended up staying up until 2 in the morning I found an old eyedropper from one of our uh, kids old medicine bottles cleaned it out and over the course of an hour or so, slowly, pretty much spoon-fed that dog water, shoving it down his throat. And pretty much just held his head, eyedropper after eyedropper. Eventually, I got maybe a cup of water down his throat. And he stopped whining at that point. And he just kind of, he seemed okay. Not great. Still couldn't get up, still couldn't really raise his head, but it was okay. We're gonna make it. So, went to bed, it was like 2 in the morning. Got up super early, checked on the dog. Still doing, still doing okay. Gave him a little bit more eye dropper water. And then we got up around 6 in the morning and, uh, and he was able to actually stand. Not really walk around too much, but he was able to stand and wag his tail. And I knew we were, okay, we're doing great. And we get all cleaned up. Everyone takes another bath, another shower, gotta enjoy what he got it. And we hit the road. And fortunately, by that point in time, Max was actually starting to drink on his own. And he was seemed interested in eating as well. So, I don't know what was maybe it was the stuff that he ate in the woods I have no idea but um, I've never seen my dog like that and it was really scary so 
I'm happy that he recovered. And after that whole fiasco, we just decided not to head back and change of plans. Came out to the coast, brilliant fresh air. Oh, thank God. And I mean, what kid doesn't love the beach? And it's nice that Oregon is very dog friendly with a lot of their beaches. Oh, thank you. City light. Hey, darling. We could get hey, out of boy. Time. See the beautiful world of This is that moment of the day when I feel like I've succeeded at life. <laughs> Haley is passed out. Alex is doing arts and crafts and picking up after herself without me asking twice. That's I'm exhausted, so I am going to sit here and have a nice beer and hopefully get to edit some video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. It really does help us out. It takes a lot to make these videos and we really appreciate your support. Also, subscribe so you guys can stay in touch with all the other adventures that we're having. If you guys have any questions, put those down in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you guys. I appreciate all the time that you give us. Thank you.